So uh, the previous videos we went over, we proved that the theorem uh, 3.12, which is the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power as n approaches to um, infinity equals the sum of 1 over k factorial as k when k starts from 0 and goes to infinity. So the definition says that uh, this is also a factorial definition of E. Okay? So this is another definition of E, which is mathematical constant. So let's use the limit definition of e to the e to the x power. Let's derive the factorial definition of e to the x power. It says right here. Oops. This one. So using the limit definition of e to the x power, which is e to the x equals limit of 1 plus x to the n x over n to the nth power as n approaches to infinity, let's derive the factorial definition of this. Okay, so, as we know, or as the problem says, the definition of e to the x power equals limit as n approaches to infinity, 1 plus x over n to the nth power which we can use by binomial definition, just like we did in the previous videos. This equals limit as n approaches to infinity. It's going to be 1 plus n times x over n plus n choose 2 to the x over n to the second power plus n choose 3 to the ti times x over n to the third power plus dot dot dots um, all the way down to x times x over n power to the nth power. So the typical term, typical each of it, typical one, we can express as n to the n choose k times x over n to the k power. So this is the typical term of it, which equals um, x to the k power, right? Because if you look at this one, x over n to the x power is x to the, let's, let's just do, let's put n, over, n choose k here, and the right side of it will be x to the k power over n to the k power. So we can write this as um, x to the k power times n choose k divided by n to the k power, which equals, by using the lemma, um, that's x to the k power over k factorial by uh, lemma 3.11. So you will keep adding these things. So it's going to be the same as um, 1 plus x over 1 factorial, that's going to be e to the k power, right? Plus x times 2 to 2 factorial plus x over 3 factorial plus x over 4 factorial plus dot dot dot, which Simply, we can write as sigma of, I'm sorry, this is not true, 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x to the second power over 2 factorial plus x to the third over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial plus dot 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 all the way up to x to the nth power over n factorial. So, simply, we can write it as the sum of um, x to the k power over k factorial 
when k starts from 0 and goes to infinity. So that is the definition of factorial definition of e to the x power.